Hello and welcome to Hitman Blood Money. This is a stealth game that was released in 2006. Um, it's, uh, even though this is a stealth game, it's pretty open-ended, meaning there's many different ways in which you can complete the objectives in this level. Uh, in every level you have targets that you need to kill, but some levels also contain additional objectives such as needing to retrieve an item and such. Uh, in this run I'm going to be playing on easy difficulty because it's not only the easiest but also uh, because the last level is a shootout level where you die immediately on the highest difficulty so we're playing on easy for the sake of being able to actually finish the run and we're playing on new game plus so i already have all the upgrades i need bought and i don't need to purchase any in between levels so uh with that out of the way uh let's just get right into it and uh we actually skip uh doing the tutorial mission for this level uh timing is going to start uh, as soon as the loading screen uh for uh, the first level ends, uh, so as soon as the screen moves past this, and go. So immediately from the start of this level, we just pull a gun here, shoot this target, and uh, okay. So what we would hope for is that somebody would open this door for us here, uh, but. Uh, Instead, we gotta open it ourselves, and, uh... Uh, we throw a bomb there, because what that's going to do is alert guards at the bottom of the map uh, to take an elevator uh, up to uh, an area that we're going to be visiting very soon. So we place another bomb there, uh, by a window inside of the mansion, and, um, yeah. We shoot doors open because it's faster than um, if we uh, open them ourselves. And, uh... Yeah, this is the elevator that uh, we called up when we set off the, the first bomb earlier. So now we set off the second bomb, and that will kill the second target, even though he's on the balcony above where that window is. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're basically on our way out of the level already. And I'm just going to take that guy's clothes just because I can. So yeah, we're, we're basically already done with this level. Alright, so the next level we have here is uh, Curtains Down, which takes place during rehearsal or play. This level is even faster than the one we just played. Uh, what we do here is... Um, Run through this door, take out the gun, shoot open this door, because again it's faster to have doors already open for us. Then we run backstage, shoot one of the targets, and the other target is on that balcony up there. So we take out a bomb, throw it at him, and then set it off. Okay. I thought for a second it didn't kill him because the, the, the check mark uh, didn't show up right away, but uh, it's all good. This level is over already. And now uh, we, we come to um, one of two auto scroller levels uh, in this game, basically. So, what we do here first is uh, we take out a bomb, another one. We get ready to throw it, and about here is when we throw it and then set it off immediately. Uh, what this does is it alerts the guards uh, inside the medical ward and uh, they will run towards where the explosion was, allowing us to take advantage of the fact that NPCs can open locked doors for us. Oh, so there was a, a, a neat little trick that I could do there where instead of shimmying along that edge, I, I would just fall right down off the edge of where that sh um, thing is instead. Uh, I went for it, but I didn't get her, unfortunately, but luckily I, I still managed to shoot the door open, which we actually needed to do since we don't have any keys. Uh, so, <clears throat> we actually need to rescue this guy, because uh, he tells you uh, who it is that you need to kill on this level. And uh, there's actually three targets, but you only need to kill one of them in order to uh, finish the level. But uh, who that target is is random every time you play. So, uh, I just worked out a route for myself, uh, 
that allows me to kill all three of them so I don't have to worry about who it is. Uh, and um, so yeah, the, these these cutscenes where you're you're given your your mission briefing are unskippable, and uh, which is why we have we set up the route so that we we do this first, even though during normal gameplay you would probably this would probably be one of the last things you do. Understood. So we leave th the medical ward through that door because it's the fastest way out and uh, the guy we just rescued doesn't actually start to get moved to the morgue and so we leave. So definitely want to leave as quickly as possible to get him moving as quickly as possible. And uh, this, the level is basically an auto-scroller from this point on. So uh, it doesn't really matter how long we take to, to kill these targets as long as we get inside the morgue uh, before uh, the agent arrives there. So already that, that's two targets down because they're, they're both really close to each other. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take this guard's uh, disguise so that way uh, I hopefully don't get anybody else shooting at me. Oh, and it didn't work. That's unfortunate. Uh, so this probably this this actually is gonna screw up uh, what the plan is for getting inside the morgue early. But uh, hopefully we can still make it work out. Okay. So nobody's shooting at me, which is a good sign. What we're going to do is we're going to take out another bomb and place it behind the morgue and then set it off because that will cause the guards to, to run to where the explosion was and that might actually cause them to end up running through the morgue doors which of course, yeah. So I'm just checking the map real quick to make sure that uh, Nobody else is going to come through here. And here's the guy that came here to rescue. Because we're already inside the morgue when he arrives, we can immediately revive him and not have to worry about waiting for uh, the doors to unlock before we can run inside. And we're done. That level went basically as, as perfectly as you want it to go, even if not completely optimal. So this level is the first of a couple where we actually get to see um, a neat technique that runners discovered many years ago. Basically, uh, one of the things that we have to do on this level, aside from killing our targets, is we also have to retrieve a, a piece of microfilm uh, off of somebody else. Uh, but uh, if 47 has a briefcase uh, in his hand, as well as another item when he picks it up, then uh, it will actually skip the animation of him picking it up, allowing us to... Uh... Yeah, so, see right there, I, I just picked it up instantly with no animation whatsoever, and uh, it allowed me to immediately turn around, and now I can just leave. So this level here is the big uh, RNG level of the run. M many runs can die here uh, because there's three targets and one of them has a ra random spawn point. Uh, the, the closest spawn point is right across the street from where you spawn, but again, it's random whether or not he actually spawns there, so... Yep, uh, didn't get him, so I gotta reset the level uh, and hope that he actually spawns there this time. Nope. Okay, um, this is starting to, to, to be really bad. Uh, usually on the third reset is when you reset the entire run, because at that point you, you, you basically can't PB anymore. And, and finally he's there, so we shot him and killed him. 
uh, what we used to do is uh, throw the bomb at that balcony and, and blow him up, but uh, I found shooting him to be better because uh, even if the shot doesn't kill him, uh, the fact that you damage him will cause him to run after you and you can kill him in the streets um, as you're leaving the level. So, we throw a bomb on that balcony over there and that should kill the last target, yep. That bomb throw was perfect and now we can just leave. So we lost quite a bit of time there because I needed to reset four times <laughs> before I could actually finish, but uh, certainly it could be worse than that. Alright, so this next level um, actually has two methods of, of, of beating it. Uh, the fastest way to do it uh, ends with an unskippable cutscene uh, that, while it is faster, because it's an unskippable cutscene that we have to deal with, um, we actually don't do it when doing full game runs. There's actually another way that you can do it that, that, that's faster. Uh, which I'm going to show off uh, because I already showed off the, the technically fastest way of beating the level the last time I did a run for, for Big John. So we run up here, run through this security room, shoot this door open because it's locked. Although even if it wasn't locked, it would still be faster to shoot it open. Uh, kill this guy here. We uh, bring the sniper rifle with us, of course, to skip picking up uh, this videotape here. But uh, now we're actually going to take it out and actually use it uh, once I get done reloading my weapon. So yeah, we, we take out the sniper rifle on the staircase because otherwise um, it would take way longer to unpack the sniper rifle if we didn't do that. and. Uh, Certainly can't be wasting any time here on this speed run here. So we run here, snipe one of the targets, shoot out the pool, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll walk along this edge and fall to the bottom of the level where we started and uh, escape. So because we escaped, uh, even though that fall kills 47, um, because we escaped first, it actually still counts as finishing the level even though he dies. Welcome so yeah, that that's a method uh, of finishing the level that I, I just learned recently just so I, I could show that guys off to you. So this next level here, pretty straightforward. Seven targets to kill. First one down. Again, we're bringing the sniper rifle with us um, to, to skip picking up an, an item that we need to finish the level. We throw this bomb here, set it off. That'll actually kill a target. What? Okay. <laughs> when the check mark didn't go off, I, I was worried that the bomb actually didn't kill the target on the second level, which you can see him right there. Alright. That's three targets down now. Here's the fourth one. Oh. His, his body is actually in a good position because it'll keep the door open for me, which means that I won't have to worry about shooting it open. Alright, one more target left. Open the safe, take the item. Okay, so for some reason he was still in the bathroom, even though normally he would be out of it by, by the time I'd be on my way out of the level. And here we uh, run up the side of this staircase here, fall to the end of the level, and again, because we escape before we die, it still counts as finishing the level. Alright, so this next level here, we're, we're bringing the sniper rifle with us again, but we don't need the item that we're going to skip picking up to finish the level exactly, but rather we need it to escape. Uh, you can escape either by uh, where you start from, or you can uh, steal the boat key from the priest and take his boat to leave the level. But obviously you need to take it off of him in order to use it, so yeah, that's why we bring the sniper rifle with us. Uh, this is going to be bad. So we throw a bomb up here that's going to kill the target that's in the room next to where I throw the bomb. 
Uh, I just killed the other target right there, playing the piano, and... Okay. And we're good. And for some reason, the, the priest was completely unfazed about being shot for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so this run, aside from Murder of Crows, is actually going pretty smoothly. Uh, next is the big other auto-scroller level of this game. Uh, so what we used to do is, uh, we used to use bombs to um, blow up people who arrived by limousine. And uh, that would actually cause uh, the doors to close faster, and thus it would cause the limos to uh, leave faster. Excuse me. Thus speeding up the auto scroller as quickly as we could. Um, but we recently discovered that if you get in the way of these limos uh, as they're ar ar arriving and leaving, and then when you move out of their way, they'll actually cause them to reach their destination faster than if you had not gotten in and out of their way. So yeah, something that you would think would be counterintuitive to the speedrun actually helps it. Go figure. Okay, so... I think I waited long enough. Uh, I, I still uh, use a bomb to, to kill the first target here to make the limo... Uh, leave faster so as you can see the limo sped up as I after I got out of its way and uh, as it's leaving now I'm going to do it again and there you go so now I'm gonna pick up this guy's briefcase uh, run over here and place a bomb inside of it which I will need later And it looks like nobody saw me, which is good, which means that um, for the rest of this level now, we can just chill. We don't have to worry about uh, an <coughs> anybody coming after us. Um, we more or less are just waiting for limos to arrive, and then we're going to boost them as they arrive, and then again as they leave. Um, there's actually a different thing that you can do, which is called uh, double boosting which, uh, when the limo is leaving, uh, it actually turns a corner. So, uh, if you actually get in its way again as it's leaving in just the right spot, uh, you can actually get it to not slow down, because when it turns the corner, it slows down, but if you get in its way in and out again, you know, in just the right spot, you can actually make it so that it doesn't slow down. And you also can't uh, get in, in its way immediately. You gotta let it build momentum first. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're gonna get what's called a, a bad boost, which is uh, not as fast at, as it could be. Now, another thing that also makes this level uh, faster that, that we also discovered recently is... Um, Hot. Remember what I said about how we used to blow up uh, the people who arrived by limousine as they would arrive? Well, um, we found out that if you sedate the people who are getting out of the limousine um, as they are getting out, um, that actually has the same effect as if you were to blow them up as they were getting out as well. So that combined with uh, the discovery of speeding up the limos by getting in and out of their way as quickly as possible really... Um, makes this level go by faster than what it used to. Alright, so... So this is the last limo that we're going to boost here, because the next one is uh, the last target that we need to kill. And uh, as you can see here, everybody's freaking out of all the dead bodies that are um, from people being run over and whatnot. And this guy's about to get run over, yep. <laughs> So hopefully, because everybody's freaking out about the dead bodies, um, they won't want to pick up this briefcase, which I'm just going to leave right here. And uh, we're actually going to run towards uh, the other guy that we need to kill, who actually starts uh, in the level, and we don't need to wait for him to arrive, but um, uh, 
we waited to kill we waited until now to kill him anyway uh, because we, we more or less have nothing else better to do while we wait for oh okay so yeah I just shot him through the door there and uh <laughs> yeah I, I didn't expect it to, to get him that quickly I, I thought it would take uh, more shots than that so yeah that's two targets down and we're basically just waiting for the last one to arrive now uh, as soon as this limo shows up yeah okay there it is which means that um I'm now going to wait here by this staircase here and uh, if I time the explosion properly uh, it should kill him and we can just leave the level immediately. Okay, so I actually uh, set off the bomb later than what I wanted to there just to make sure that I got the timing right. So yeah. Finally, we're done with that awful auto-scroller. <coughs> and we're getting close to the end of the game now. It's over 47. Alright, so for this level, uh, we throw a bomb at this security station here to kill these two guards. Throw it, set it off, and then we have to kill all of the guards in the garage because uh, the targets on this map are in parties that we need to take elevators in order to get to. And uh, if we don't kill these guards, they will actually call the elevators and we will need to wait for them to come back up or down before we can uh, leave once we, uh, you know, we need to leave. So I actually got bad RNG with the spawn of uh, one of the targets here. Uh, okay, so that's one target down. Oh, okay. So that RNG wasn't a a as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, so see how I was able to get back inside this elevator immediately? If I had left any of the guards in the garage alive, they would have called the elevator back up and I would have needed for we need to wait for it to come back down be before I could, uh... Yeah. So now we're on our way up to the upstairs party, which is a long elevator ride. I'm just checking to see uh, where one of the targets is, this guy over here. So we're just gonna run right in, shoot them, and then leave. That's one down, and that's this guy down. And now we just leave. Very rarely, um, sometimes I, I've had situations where, despite uh, clearing that part of the level quickly, uh, one of the guards from the basement party, believe it or not, actually um, called the elevator before I could get back on and lost me a whole bunch of time because I had to wait for it to come back up which uh, given this elevator ride uh, yeah takes forever yeah see th there he is a guard from the basement party r ready to ruin my day <clears throat> alright uh, next to last level now which takes place inside of the White House. Uh, one of the targets is in the Oval Office, and the way you would normally uh, finish this level is you go inside the Oval Office, there's an unskippable cutscene where you confront him, he knocks you out with an explosion, and then you have to go chase after him. Um, we're going to hopefully skip all of that, um, because um, there's actually a collision oversight with one of the windows uh, to the Oval Office, and uh, it allows us to throw a bomb through the wall, and... Uh, we could just throw the bomb through the window, uh, set it off, and kill him without ever needing to go inside the Oval Office at all. Uh, I used to have a lot of trouble with it, but uh, I recently figured out a more consistent setup for it. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll actually be able to pull it off, because it'll be really bad if I, uh, if I don't. Alright, so I gotta get my bomb out now. 
Prepare to throw it. Stand to the left of this pillar and line up my throw. There's a chance that if you don't throw the... Oh my god, what was that throw? It's, it's because this guy's shooting at me that, that messed my throw up. But yeah, um, there's a chance that um, if you don't throw the bomb correctly that it'll actually uh, fall through a empty void, more or less. So I wait for that guy to run into that room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I counted there to before setting off the bomb to make sure that um, it would actually, uh, the timing would be correct. And uh, yeah, because I already killed the other target on this map uh, earlier, I can just leave now. Really, really happy about getting that, that, that bomb throw there, that, that. <laughs> that trick right there is a rung killer. I used to just throw one bomb, set it off, and if it didn't kill him, run back and throw the other bomb. But uh, I actually learned that it's actually better to, to throw two bombs uh, and set them both off, even if it's technically slower. Alright, last level now. Hopefully I don't die, because it's an immediate shootout level. So yeah, 47 is faking his funeral here. Shoot everybody up. Switch to first person so it's easier to aim. And also because um, if you take your if you take somebody's weapon from them in first person, it's not only faster, but you're actually able to uh, move around while you're taking their weapon from them. And this guy stayed behind because he panicked, uh, which allows me to kill him. I don't have to chase him to the bottom of the hill later on. Okay, that guy actually has a, a really powerful pistol that can kill you very easily, so it's good that I managed to kill him quickly. And uh, the priest will be at the bottom of this hill here, and that's time! That's actually uh, very close to uh, my, my PB. I recently PB'd in this game with a uh, 2536, and uh, so yeah, I actually came close to uh, my, my personal best time for this game. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that run. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's really great that you all came through here to show strong support for Big John, who really needs help with getting his medical bills paid. Uh, shout out to Big John. Thank you for having me on this marathon love, uh, marathon run. Love, support, and solidarity um, with Big John. We, we love you. We support you. We... Wish you the best through all of the worst of times of whatever you're going through. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again sometime. And uh, I'll see you all later. Peace out.